Well, uh, yeah, flooding, 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 flooding. It's too bad that we cannot get our fellow citizens in our countries to, hey, check into weather modification, geoengineering. Weather is being created by man, intensified, manipulated, modified. Canada. Four provinces in Canada, Quebec, Montreal, um, oh, what are the, uh, Manitoba, and Ontario. Lots of flooding occurring. Rem um, I don't know if any of you heard videos with me saying that there was a document that I read years and years ago. It was a military document. It was one of those, you know, full spectrum dominance. Hey, by 2020, and it was just loaded with chapters. How excited our military was with all of the crazy shit they were planning. Um, but in one of those chapters, I read that they didn't say this is how we will manipulate the public but that's essentially what it was that they would all of the weather the catastrophic weather events will eventually get people to accept anything like geoengineering and weather modification when we see this happening over and over and over again in the same areas, and that's what's taking place now, in certainly one of those areas, which I'll get to in a second, but look at this. Pour vous, peut-être pris par surprise, parce qu'on s'était dit ça a tenu le coup en 2017, mais on espérait que ce soit le même scénario cette année. Malheureusement, il y a eu une brèche, ça a cédé, et vous voyez les résultats. Plusieurs ah, résidences euh, qui sont inondées. Oui, on parlait de 5 000 et plus, des personnes qui ont dû être évacuées. Et là, on constate avec ces images, euh, ces toutes premières images là à chaud, euh, ce que ça ressemble. Donc, les gens qui ont quitté leur maison en quelques minutes à peine, ils ont vu, parce que je parlais d'ailleurs avec euh, une sinistrie, malheureusement, une de mes collègues au travail est une de ces sinistries. Elle me disait, on voyait le petit ruisseau derrière la maison et en quelques minutes à peine, il y a eu entre 4 et 5 pieds d'eau. On a su que c'était réel et qu'il fallait évacuer. On n'a pas attendu que les policiers viennent cogner à notre porte. On a pris nos animaux et on a quitté. C'est un peu le constat qu'on fait. Euh, on regardait, là, il y a des quartiers entiers là, qui sont euh, carrément la, la désolation, euh, Karianne, quand on le voit du haut des... I actually love... French. I wish that I could speak it fluently. Look at this. Uh, it, this could be uh, the Central Plains, United States. It could be Texas. Uh, it could be South Carolina, North Carolina. Right? My God. All right. Well, yeah, evacuation now. Thousands forced to flee St. Uh, Moth, Sir, Sir Lap, I'm sorry, after dike break, breaches, dams breaking, dikes, breach, levees, breach. Seems our countries can't quite, or the governments of our countries can't quite do anything right anymore. Everything is just falling apart. Well, this is an off-island suburb northwest of Montreal. Water immediately began pouring into the town. Witnesses heard trees snapping under the rushing torrent. The water came pouring in just like a tsunami. It wasn't there, and then it was there. You had to get out fast, driving home. Uh, one resident thought that he would be spared the rushing water. Well, he wasn't when we arrived home. We had no choice but to consider that the water was rising at an impressive pace. We had approximately 40 to 45 minutes to do something. Uh, we frantically moved anything of value upstairs. Then police knocked at his door, told them to stop and get out. 5,000 residents were moved to high ground in just four hours. Roughly a third of the town is currently under water, flooding homes, and streets. Oh my God. The Canadian Red Cross 
is on the scene. People are being offered a place to sleep as well as psychological support. The vast majority of evacuees found friends and family to stay with. I always feel bad for the people who don't have family and friends. Well, 50 are temporarily housed. Nearly 7,700 Quebecers have been forced from their home since spring flooding began in different areas two weeks ago. And that's almost double the number of evacuees during the 2017 floods, yep, in Quebec. Why is this happening over and over and over again? Well, people, it's a lie. You're believing in a lie if you want to say climate change, global warming. Look at this. Well, people have to do the research and become informed about what is taking place. Uh, Manitoba, Manitoba, sorry, New Brunswick, Ontario, Quebec. You're all facing a really hard time. And hundreds of soldiers deployed to Montreal, Ottawa. And of course, you listen to the news broadcasts, and inevitably climate change comes up. Quebec, 3,056 um, 3, homes across the province were flooded. 2,736 were surrounded by water. 2,000 people have been forced from their home. Uh, uh, close to the Ontario border, 685 people had to leave their homes under a ma mandatory evacuation order. The uh, floodwaters in Gatineau are expected to take weeks to recede. 1,800 homes were in a flood zone. 4,000 were at risk. 50 landslides have been reported across the province. The situation is changing hour by hour. Red Cross registered 940 evacuees uh, from 330 households in New Brunswick. 70% of the people asking for flood assistance this year asked last year. Get it? Repeated flooding of areas. This is part of Agenda 2030. Move people out of certain areas. It's hard to watch this, guys. Oh, but your lovely, loving Trudeau communities across Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick have been hard at work helping those affected by flooding. It's inspiring to see so many Canadians come together when our neighbors are in need. If you can, take some time today to volunteer. You know what? These... All right, I'll try not to curse. All right, well, these sacks of shit, you know, they never suffer. You think, you think Trudeau doesn't know that man is creating weather? But they say the same thing. All these government officials say the exact same thing, whether it's a president, whether it's a prime minister, whether it is a senator or a congressman, it doesn't matter. They all say the same thing. Oh, look, everybody's helping one another. How lovely to see. Well, how about you stop cranking up those frequencies and loading the skies with these chemicals and the heavy metals and creating cloud? Why don't you stop creating these events and, and then people can just live their lives. But it's bad. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to CBC News Network tonight. I'm Natasha Fado. We begin with historic flooding across eastern Canada. States of emergency have been declared in cities in Ontario, Quebec, and New Brunswick. Montreal is the latest to join the list. We're looking at the situation minute by minute, hour by hour, and if there's an evacuation that is needed, then we will be doing it. People need to understand 
that this is serious and this is dangerous. And right now, the, the, the threats are, and are serious. They're concrete. At least 12 homes have been placed on mandatory evacuation order in Montreal's West Island. Meanwhile, the town of Le Chute, west of Montreal, is completely surrounded by water. Further north from there, officials are closely watching a hydroelectric dam. Now, if that dam fails, properties downriver would be threatened. Nearly 400 members of the Canadian Armed Forces have been brought in to assist with sandbagging efforts in the Ottawa region. Water levels along the Ottawa River continue to rise, and up to 35 millimeters of rain could fall by tomorrow. In New Brunswick, water levels are dropping in some of the areas, but it will be days before floodwaters recede. More than 100 roads have been impacted across the province, and many of them have had to close. Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale gave a flood update today and said there's a reason we're seeing more severe weather events like this. These wild... And do you know what that reason is? Hey, wait, 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 he's going to tell you. ...old cycles from storms and floods to droughts and wildfires. Uh, that is a very serious national problem. It is a public safety problem. Uh, and we all have to work conscientiously together to do th two things. As much as we humanly can to slow down and mitigate the consequences of climate change. Can't listen to this guy. Okay. Oh, you know, I really don't like, you know, saying that people are morons or stupid or whatever. But you know what? It gets to a point where, you know, does this guy know? for a fact that that climate change global warming business is just that a business um, and they don't know anything about weather modification they don't know anything that militaries are doing all over the world they don't know really well they should know they should know <sighs> my god difficulty days ahead as flooding prompts evacuations. Quebec's premier is telling residents in waterlogged areas of the province that they face a few more difficult days ahead and to have courage until the flood threat eases. Uh, water rose so quickly that totally submerged cars could be seen Sunday morning. Water levels up to the ground floor windows It just, uh, Ottawa area, where hundreds of troops deployed to help sandbag in order to prohibit navigation, which means no one can go on the roads in specific areas of flooding to protect the safety of residents and help the responders do their job. Anyone caught breaking the ban, you'll be fined up to $5,000. Yes. Well, when you know that we're at war, you understand what this is about. But I guess people can't just grasp that, oh my God, we are at war. They're just using unconventional weapons like weather. That Montreal has actually gotten it off pretty easy, but we're in a part of Montreal right now, and this is not easy. Oh, this is not easy. This is not easy. There's a house, three houses down. We couldn't get to it without a boat. I walked in there two days ago, and I stopped walking when the water came up to here, and we couldn't get any closer to the house. It's uh, their house is gone. But right now, I think, I believe we have about 15 or 20 families staying in a shelter that have just lost their homes. So there's fewer people overall, but the people that are affected are really going to be looking at months, if not years, of rebuilding and trying to get compensation or just moving out of these And months. that's if the insurance will even pay for it. We had a gentleman come in in 2017, and he was in his 60s, and I said, how are you doing? And he said, well, he said, everything I own for the last 40 years I threw away. I owe $100,000 on my mortgage. My house has been declared scrap, and my insurance just told me, act of God. So he said, it's 62 years old. When I finish registering for the food bank, I'm going bankrupt. How do you tell somebody everything's going to be okay? You, you don't. It because for so many people, nothing is okay anymore.
Now, much of the focus is on the areas surrounding Ottawa and Montreal, where the number of people affected has risen sharply. In Quebec, more than 5,500 homes have been damaged by the flooding. Access to more than 3,000 has been cut off, and almost 8,000 people have been forced to leave. The Premier is telling displaced residents to have courage in the difficult days ahead. Well, thousands of people are also on the move just outside of Montreal. A dike burst last night, and that... Alright, I will link below to everything if you want to watch the complete broadcast. Texas, Louisiana, three days ago. As you can see, there is the goals for soccer. There's the bleachers. Uh, they used to have a press box on the top. Um, as you can see, um, this place has just been decimated. Five people, five people died, died in Louisiana. They're calling them tornadoes. I don't believe they're tornadoes. I think they're just kicking up the wind. And yes, they can do that with frequencies 3.6 earthquake detected in southeastern Arizona. And this was posted uh, last night at 9.43 p.m. April 27. 3.6 magnitude earthquake and a sequence of shallow quakes at 10 a.m. Just want you to check out what I captured. This was at 1 o'clock p.m. yesterday. You see all of these extremely low frequencies being set off here in Arizona. Oh, very right smack where the earthquakes occurred, southeastern Arizona. Extremely low frequencies cause earthquakes. Yes, this, this, uh, so many states are lit up by 11, 12 a.m. to 3, 4 a.m. Lit up with radar. I mean, it's really Texas, California, the um, Gulf states, South Carolina, North Carolina, with these frequencies they can create weather. I have loads of videos the, showing you documents, how they can do it, papers, high frequency heating, modulated, extremely low frequencies. God. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been essentially saying the same thing for eight years. And still what is this extremely low frequency right here in Iowa? Goes right to the um, Wisconsin border. And I just went on the site and it's still there. That's new. All right. Well, look, I'm somebody who really kind of gets inspired, kind of gets. I get inspired when I see things change for the better. So yeah, you hear a bit of frustration in my voice, my tone, earthquake warning, tremor, which could totally destroy a civilization forecasted for Monday. Oh, that's tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this, this was posted Friday. New Zealand. Look, they say this was predicted by a conspiracy theorist who has a website who follows kind of like a Dutch sense. Um, I will post below. Look, <laughs> I have said this numerous times before. I'll say it again. They are using weather, earthquakes, volcanoes as weapons. 
So you need to sit down with your family or friends, community members, whomever you're close to, and devise a plan to uh, where are you going to go to evacuate, escape routes, whatever it is that you need. Have a to-go bag ready. You know, you listen to these news broadcasts or you read the articles. And what do they say? Virtually everybody is saying, never saw it before. It came up so fast. Everything happened so fast now. Well, that's why you really do need to take very seriously a plan and prepare. Don't get scared. Just prepare uh, for anything. The flooding is occurring in non-flood zones. Earthquakes are happening in areas that don't normally get earthquakes. Tornadoes now coming out of the blue. And yes, the Central Plains, well, they're calling for more storms Wednesday. You know, and then I get this linked to below one of my videos. Carol goes to stores, digital dementia exposed. I'm like, oh, I feel, I feel somewhat vindicated, vindicated in terms of uh, why we are unable to get any positive change because people are just incredibly messed up, messed up in the head. I mean, why would someone spend time to post a video clearly to show that I'm just stupid or whatever? I, I, I could care less, but what's frightening is that this is what this guy spends his time on? Really? When so many people are in need? When we are at war? When people are dying, when children are dying, this is what somebody spends their time on? Wow. Well, yeah, we've got a lot of people like this. And that's why we're going down. Hmm. Well, I'll link below to everything, and I hope everybody is okay. Uh, my Canadian subscribers, please weigh in. Please weigh in. Let us know that you're okay and what's happening. I really appreciate it hearing from people. Ciao, guys.